Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I will show you how to use the detail extractor in Nick Collection to get amazing results. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer, and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Don't miss my newest video where I compare my full frame camera to my smartphone. This video might actually blow your mind. And of course, my live stream tomorrow where we have a lot of fun. Okay, let's get started with this tutorial. So we have our image selected, go to filters, plugin, Nick Collection Color Effects Pro 4. Make the plugin as big as possible on your screen so you see what is going on. And then here on the left side, we are looking for the detail extractor. Click on that. It's going to be added on the right side. And you can see we have some very nice sliders here. One is detail extractor, contrast, saturation, effect radius, shadow and highlight, and then our control points. So let's get started with the detail extractor. This works as a form of micro contrast in your image. So when you pull this up, you can see that the image gets a lot more dramatic and gets lots of more detail in there. Let's zoom in here and move over to the face of our angel because now we have to look at the effect radius. You can see here it says normal, but we have three choices, fine, normal, large. Now this is the size of the detail that we want to extract, that we want to make more apparent, more dramatic. So when we go to fine, you can see that this is now catching onto the finer details. In this case, I think it makes the image too busy. But for example, for pictures with a lot of hair in there or for you animals like a cat photo, this is really nice. Let's go to the next one, which is normal. This looks very nice in this case. And of course, we have large for the larger details. We have to look at the overall image. So you can see here with this, you get a lot of improvement in here. But in that case, I like normal a lot better because it gives us some additional drama, especially in the sky. So now the next step would be to tune that in. Let's reduce our detail here a little bit to not go overboard. Contrast is just classic contrast. We can adjust this, but again, not go overboard. Let's go like this to keep a softness to the image. And then also let's pull up our saturation a little bit because this is photographed in raw with a flat setting. So the colors are kind of muted. So I've explained to you the detail extractor. Here comes the secret sauce where I show you the other filters I combine with the detail extractor to get some really amazing results. Let's first analyze the image a little bit. You can see right now it's evenly lit and I want to have a bit of a story there, a bit of a weight on where the attention goes and where the attention flows off, right? So I want to have the attention here on the angel and I want to have this side darker. So this side is brighter. Now let's go here to add filter. This is really important because if you don't do this, you will simply replace the filter you already have. So click on add filter. Let's go for gradient user defined. Click on that and you can see this is a gradient on our image. I will set the opacity to zero and then use my color picker to pick a natural shadow color here in the image from the darker shadows. So this is kind of a warmer dark brown that we have right now. Let's pull up the opacity more than we need to and use the rotation to rotate this down because I want this side here to be darker, the side that is away from the angel. I will adjust my opacity like so. But of course, you can see it's also in the sky. Luckily, inside of Nick Collection, we have our control points and they can limit it based on where we put these points. So let's click here on one of these plus points and I will click here in the shadow area of the image. It's just like that. I have applied that to this area and with the upper slider, I select the area of effect and with the lower slider, the opacity on the effect. So I can fine tune this. And also 
when you open up the control point over here, you can see that I have a mask preview. So when I click on this, you can see this is the area that is affected. The bright area is the one that is affected. So let's make this a little bit smaller here, just like so, and then go back to this and you can see that already looks pretty amazing. Now here is another thing I want to do. I'm holding Alt and then click and drag this over here onto the shadow area on the face and make it smaller too. So let's move this over a little bit like so and then also bring it down here and down here. So all the areas that already have a natural shadow that I can now intensify a little bit by doing that. So now we have more tension up here, less attention down here. And then on the left side, we are looking for the dynamic skin softener. Let's add this. And you can see I can adjust the skin color. This is why this works on stone too. Let's click here on the picker icon and pick here on the arm that kind of color. Let's zoom in here and turn this on and off. And you can see that the skin is now nice and soft, but at the same time, we still have the drama in the picture from the detail extractor, especially in the sky, because the sky has a different color, but we have a nice softness in here. Here's the next step. I want to add some skylight. So click on add filter again, go over here to our skylight filter, click on that, and you can see this is adding some very nice warm light to our image. So let's tune this in. I'd say like this is fine. And then again, a positive control point. And I want to set this up here onto the head of our angel like so, and then hold Alt, pull it over here to the arm so that we have mostly our warm light on the angel, but less over here where the image is darker. Now here is another thing that is not so good. You can see here do, through the detail extractor, the plants have become rather bright. I don't want that. So again, click on add filter and we are going to use a levels and curves adjustment for that. Click on this, pull down and see if this turns into a silhouette over here. When it does, you are fine and then you click here on add control points and simply boom, like that. You create a control point over here, can move it up a little bit like so, and then Alt and drag it down, make this one a little bit smaller. And let's see, maybe have another one up here and over there. And just like that, our plant has turned into a silhouette. So this is the before and the after. You can see we created a really beautiful result. Click down here on OK to render it in our image. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next tutorial. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Bye.